So let's just start with the basics, and that's how we control line symbology in the drawing view. So I have a floor plan that I created from the BIM model, and I'm just going to zoom in here and you can see right now, all of our line weights are looking more or less the same. And what we have here is a, a, actually a concrete block or CMU wall around the stairs. And then these are gypsum partitions. And so perhaps we want to differentiate between those a little bit. So let me just use the teardropper here to, to select that CMU wall. And then when I open the family and part editor, it'll open right to that wall. So we're in the wall component family. So let's take a look here. And up here we have different views. So right now we're on the definition, right? That's typically the default when you open the family part editor. And that gives you the basic level color style weight for, for each part. And that really affects the way it gets created in the 3D model. So it's really the way it's going to look in that wireframe view. And so we have, different colors assigned to different parts so we can differentiate between them in the model. And I've also set the, the style to zero and the weight to zero, just in that wireframe view, I, I like the line weights all to be zero. So that's the first pane here, but if we change our, our view, you'll notice there's other properties that can be set. So for instance, if I go to drawing symbology, now I'm setting symbology for the drawing view. And this is really broken into two parts. You can see that there is a section, section level, color, style, weight. And then same for the forward and rear view. So we can change our symbology between those different views. So for instance, if we look at our two hour CMU wall, we'll note that it's on a wall, that's fine. Its section color is now zero or it'll be you know, black on our white background or white on our gray background. And then the style is zero or a continuous line, but the weight has been changed here to two. So it's got a weight two. In fact, almost all of these parts have a weight two in the cut view. So when we cut through it, that's the weight of the line. So if we wanted to make that CMU pop from the drawing a little more, differentiate it from the JIP partitions, we might want to up the line weight. In fact, I'm going to select all of the masonry and concrete walls and change their weight to three. Now you'll notice I have glass at one, and then my gypsum partitions or gypsum board is, is a weight two. And if we kind of slide over and look at our forward and rear view, a lot of those are set to one, and, and that's typically in an elevation. I might need those walls to pop out a little bit around their corners and so forth, whereas others might want to recede a little, be a little less prominent. I'm going to just switch over to this wall assembly because I have the gypsum partitions under that family. And so we have the same, same information. In this case, though, the, the color has been set and we can see that here in the drawing. But of course that's not going to plot well. If I, if I try and plot a grayscale plot, those are gonna end up kind of a light gray and they're not gonna really show well on the drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and change those to zero as well. And, and leave those at a weight too. And we'll probably do the same for the forward view here and you can see they're all weight one in the forward view. So I'll go ahead and save my changes, commit my changes. And then close that dialog. And then we'll go ahead and reload our cached view. So you can see now all of our lines for the walls are that white or zero. And, and you should start to see that this CMU pops out a little bit a little heavier weight than the, the partitions. So we start to get that differentiation in line weight. You can see here on the doors, we've done the same where the door swing has a very light weight and then the rest of the door and the frame is a little bit heavier. So that's how we control line weights to get that differentiation in line weight on our, our drawings.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.